um, I don't understand how you can't take me out for my birthday after I shouted out on the air for you and took you out for about $40. And, and that's just the, the food. The drinks was 20 something dollars. <laughs> that's about 60 something dollars. Y'all know I work at Walgreens. That's half my check right there. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And, and I didn't even want to go nowhere. She could have just took me right up the street to Waffle House. I just wanted an all-star breakfast. They don't cost nothing but $11. I mean, I'm not a hard guy to please. <laughs> and since we're talking about food, the next topic I'm going to talk about is seriously funny. I was on Twitter this morning, and this takes place in my home state of Mississippi. There was a person who broke into a Natchez house, I mean a house in Natchez, Mississippi, and they didn't take, I mean, they didn't really take anything of value. As a matter of fact, they said the court would clean the house up. How nasty does your house got to be for somebody to say, you know, this is a mess. Just going to put fold these clothes up and wash these dishes. Or either that, I guess, they were trying to say, if I put all these clothes up, maybe i find what I came here to look for. And, of course, this is how I know the person was black. Because you know us as black people, right? After we get through finish cleaning and, 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 and um straightening up, we get hungry. So the person goes into the, the people's refrigerator and steals a whole chicken. I cannot make this up. They said they saw a raw chicken and they stole it. But I cannot really blame them because, you know, groceries like an arm and a leg and a foot, not a. But it also got me thinking about another situation where I heard about somebody breaking in something and doing something real crazy. Like, I heard when I was in Mobile, Alabama, some people broke in to a school. Now, at first I thought it was some white people. I said, you know, as hard as it is for a brother to graduate from high school, we ain't trying to go back when we ain't got to be there. Then I heard when, what they stole. They said two culprits have broken into Davidson High School in Mobile. I said, that's got to be some white people. Then they said, wait a minute. This just in. They stole five flat screen TVs and four window air conditioning. I said, yeah, that's us. That, 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 that sounds like something we would do. And we were talking about this earlier. We were talking about the lip singing controversy with Beyonce. People, come on now. It's Beyonce. Who really cares if she's lip syncing or not? Nope. She's just nice to look at. <laughs> I don't care if her voice sounds like a cat scratching a chalkboard. <laughs> she's nice to look at. So she's going to get away with it. Shoot, I ain't going to last me some times. I've been on stage. I know I've gotten away with some stuff because I'm nice to look at. I'm very nice to look at. <laughs> to be honest, let's be honest. I'm not being vain. This is just true. God said true set you free. I'm very nice to look at. Because <laughs> it's been some time like, ooh, I'm so but thank you, Jesus, that I'm nice to look at. <laughs> So, and then, too, I want to say this everybody, well, she's not doing her job. She may be BSing on her job, but I guarantee you this, her BSing on her job, and she's going to get way more in, <laughs> in a day BSing on her job than you'll get in a year actually putting forth effort into your job. <laughs> so who's the loser here, people? Do the math. Yeah. And, and two, she's married to the greatest rapper alive, but that's, uh, you know, we're going we gonna to move on from that. And speaking of work, um... She's married to victory? Oh, thank you. We'll go with that <laughs> for today. We'll go with it. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I made me lose my special Can't okay, work with black people. Man. <laughs> but anyway, now speaking of work, um, I don't know how I don't know how old this video, but I just recently came across this video on Facebook of a guy that works at McDonald's just went ham on two customers. Oh boy. Man, what happened was these two girls tried to give him a pass him a. They already was being difficult with the order. Mm -hmm. Then they tried to pass him like a fake $50 bill. Mm. And they kept trying to tell him like it's fake. You know, he kept trying to say it's fake, it's fake. And they're like, no, it ain't fake. Like, look, it's fake, it's fake. So these two girls hop over the counter and get in his face. Now, if you ever go to McDonald's, you know, like when they're putting mayonnaise, something on your sandwich to look like little gun, gun you know, right. they have. So when they jumped over the counter, he took one of those empty things and started beating them Ooh. with the back end, the actual little, little, um, the stem little stem that yeah. lets you know how much you actually got. You got I'm mayonnaise pistol with you. Man, right. I'm talking about he looked like Hank Aaron circa 1974. You just bam, 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 bam. And it was funny, though. But this is the thing that was funny about it. Because they said one girl, like, ended up getting, like, a fractured jaw and got to have serious uh, face. Yeah, that's some hard But moments. you know, it was, I heard it was, like, in New York. I think it was in uh, Brooklyn or something. Surprise, surprise. Um, but this is the kicker about that situation. Ain't nobody seen the bus driver video? No, not that. The dude <laughs> had ax was actually out on parole. Uh, and guess what he was out on parole from? Like the murder. Whoa. Because in the murder, and he had, and how he committed the murder was he got into an argument with somebody. Mm. So, and, you, know, you, know, you know what I'm saying? And then, too, I worked at McDonald's. Sometimes everybody in McDonald's is not a squeaky clean high school or college kid that's just trying to 
to make ends meet. Some of them people doing this to get their POs off their back. Right. So they need to sit back. You probably, hey, I don't blame them because you know working at McDonald's after dealing with customs all day, I probably, you know what, screw this. I don't do 25. Uh, 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 this is ridiculous. I guess you don't know, but I was going to say, what did they say? I mean, people did jump behind the counter. I right. mean, they got it on video, but I mean, they, they, I, mean I don't blame them. Because I remember, I, was, himself, you know? I remember I was working at McDonald's and a guy was trying to show out in front of his kids acting real belligerent and talking about ain't nobody scared of you. I said, I was 16 at the time, I said, sir, who asked you to be scared of me? He said, ain't nobody scared of you. What you weigh about 75 pounds? I said, I do, but my Glock don't weigh that much. My little car, let me come get it. I said, Brooke, is messing with your kid? Man, trying, trying to be mad in front of your kid. That's going to get you hurt. He pulled off, thank God, because I ain't had no pistol. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I took a big salary. Who that is? Who they got it in it like I thought it would? <laughs> and another video I want to talk about. This video just... I don't even understand. I don't even know where to start with this video. It was this video where... It was like five boys in like an apartment. And they end up talking this one girl into like stripping down naked. I'm talking about butt booby naked. And you know what these boys do? They pour alcohol on her behind and set it on fire. What? Oh. And I'm sitting there thinking one but two then the first thing is how stupid do you gotta be as a girl or as a person period to let somebody to talk you into some foolishness like that. That's crazy. And then the second thing I was thinking okay so we didn't talk the girl into getting naked. <laughs> and the first thing that runs through our mind is hey let's pour alcohol on her booty and, get, and, and then set her on fire. Which makes me wonder about them boys. Because, I mean, to be honest, I would have lit her behind her too in another way. <laughs> I'm just being honest. With that being said, that's uh, been the sunny side of things. <laughs> Boy, Pete Mac, um, you can follow Boy, me. Boy, the dark side. I know. Oh, yeah. I was like, that's right. <laughs> you can follow me on Twitter at Pete 89 That's P E T E Y M A C 89. Um. The international food and local joker is out. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Jesus help us. Uh,